In this video, we'll wrap up the routing of the laminate module. In particular, we'll finish cleaning up the scorecard on the differences from layout, and look at what layout can do for you to catch all mistakes before taping out your design. In our routing process, we will connect components and pads with traces. Traces connect between the different layers of the laminate module using vias. Generally speaking, the vias that you will use are limited by the technology you have available to you. Despite this, we'll go over how you can create your own VIA definitions in case you don't have a PDK. Having VIA definitions loaded will allow you to use trace stitching, which will greatly expedite your routing process. For demonstration purposes, I will create a VIA connecting layer 1 to layer 2. Realistically, you will want to create VIAs between all possible layer combinations. First, we'll draw circles for both of the layers that we want on the VIA. We can precisely draw a circle of a certain radius using the coordinate entry and setting x to the radius and y to 0. Certain layers on your design will be defined as via layers. In this case, to have a via between layer 1 and layer 2, we will need to draw a circle on PC via 1. Note that if you would want to have a via that goes between multiple layers, you will need to draw on each of the layers that the via encapsulates, as well as on each of the via connecting layers in between the drawing layers. We now have a via that we add to our via definitions. Now that we have vias created, we need to define our vias for use. Go to Options, Technology, Via Definitions. Go to Add and select Customized Via. The top and bottom layers of your via are the layers on your layout that the via connects. Click on the Browse button and navigate to the via cell that we just created. We've now created our via definition. As you create more vias, you will need to add more definitions. There aren't any default rules available to us in DRC without a PDK, so we'll create a new rule. First, open up DRC with the hotkey D. Go to Create With Spacing Rule. We'll shoot for the minimum width and spacing of the traces to be 50. We'll apply these rules to the four layers we are drawing on, from PC1 to PC4. We will use these rules in DRC for the rest of the routing. Note that PDKs will come with a set of rules that are specific to the capabilities of the foundry. The last thing to do before wiring is to make sure that we don't unintentionally move the ground layer. The ground layer of this module is on layer 4. Each of the rectangles represents a connection to a ground. Select the ground, then go to Schematic, lock component position. We're now finally ready to start wiring up this module. In the differences from schematic, we have a few unplaced components. I'll first drop one of the capacitors. Note that the flight lines up between the bond wire and the capacitor have been updated. We can place a via on the capacitor pad using the hotkey O. We'll connect this pad to layer 2 through the via. Now we can connect from this via on layer 2 down to ground. At each click, you add a vertex to the trace. At these vertices, you can automatically add a via and switch between layers using either the period or comma hotkeys, where period goes up a layer and comma goes down a layer. When you're done drawing a trace, press the spacebar. You can easily manipulate the trace after you've drawn it by selecting the trace, and moving the segments and vertices. When you double click on a trace, you can adjust its properties such as width and corner type without having to redraw the trace. We can switch between the different angles allowed by using the hotkeys 4 and 9, where 4 will give you a 45 degree corner and 9 will give you only 90 degree corners. 
Drawing in 45 and 90 degree corners will help prevent us from drawing acute angles, which are guaranteed to present DRC errors, as the inner walls of the acute angle will be too close. The goal of this process is to remove all of the flight lines by placing all missing components and adding connections. It can help to occasionally run DRC to make sure any connections you've made recently don't violate any design rules. Once you've finished routing the module, you should have something similar to this. If you draw a trace that creates a short, as I've done here, we see that ADS automatically shows us the area where the short occurred. That being said, the layout view doesn't automatically capture every short, such as the one that I will draw here. As a result, you have to use LVS to check for physical shorts. Under Options, check Components with Physical Nets. This will perform a more rigorous check of the layout to make sure such shorts are captured. Once you've defined a substrate, you can get a 3D realization of the module you just wired up, which clearly shows the layers and the vias. From here, you can perform EM simulations to further test your design. This concludes the module routing in the Layout Overview series. Thank you for watching this Keysight ESOF EDA tutorial. You can find a link to a free trial of ADS in the video description below.